First, I'd like to say Happy Father's Day to all the, the good men out there, the men who are fathers every day, who aren't waiting for Father's Day to actually receive anything. But I honestly don't be expecting any gifts for Father's Day. Thank you all for sending out the um, the Happy Father's Day text messages, DMs, and uh, on my social medias. I really appreciate it. Um, the most important gift for me is just the life of my daughter. So... Thank you again. It's no mistake Juneteenth is on Father's Day this year. Because every year you forget that there's a day to celebrate the man who left, right? I mean, the man who had a part in giving your child or children life. Good men do exist. For those who don't know, Juneteenth is a black holiday commemorating the end to slavery. But for who? Shit, my father was in prison when I was born until I was seven, and that caused me to grow up with so many mental weapons. I still have trust issues now because of his absence. What message is the universe placing on me? I never questioned my father and capabilities because I always knew I'd be a great one. Super, actually. Good fathers do exist. How do I know? Because I am one. I actually grew up wanting to be a father. I couldn't wait to hear my little offspring call me when needed. Call me daddy. Happy to show me her accomplishments. Call me if she had a boo-boo. Pick her up from school. Go on trips. Make silly videos. This role truly fulfills me. It gives me my identity. Good men do exist. But the task is not an easy one at all. Since every moment is a lesson, some fathers think they're teaching but can be missing a blessing. Just misplacing the message, I learned that age isn't what's needed for graduation because you're older. Experience is. Arrogance and egos has stopped a lot of folks to see that children are the best teachers. They will test your patience, your tongue, and even question you about things you never thought of in interesting ways. And here you go, thinking you was in love before your little one was born. I wish folks recognized Father's Day as a holiday. I'm honored to know I am loved by my little girl. Celebrating the man who lives like a king and treats his kids like royalty. I think we all forget that fathers aren't perfect. And mistakes are not excuses, but decisions someone has made. And the reasons won't always add up because you weren't there when that choice was made. Juneteenth, like Father's Day, hasn't been celebrated in many households, yet America has signed this legislation and we can now be considered free. I say it's commercializing at its best. At its best. Will you now look at the man who you've probably hated in replace of love and offer a treaty? Before my grandfather died, he told me that he felt invisible. My grandfather was blind, and I see what he spoke of. You see, men are norm normally third in mind when things are done. For example, Mother's Day is a national holiday celebrated across the world. Christmas, Jesus, and children, and women. Weddings is mostly for the women. Men are just there waiting for her to arrive. In full retrospect, great men are invisible. Even the house my grandfather helped my grandmother build is known as Grandma's House. This poem is just to bring awareness to celebrate the men who wear their father's role as a badge of honor. Little things matter. Stepdads, brothers, cousins, coaches, police officers, teachers, this is for you. Happy Father's Day. If that man wants to be in this child's life, please let him put aside your ego. Good men do exist. I have forgiven my father for his absence and the hate within me disappeared for him. It was only built up because he didn't talk to me much. My feelings towards him were never hidden. My questions and insecurities just were never answered. Only once I became a man, I was able to look past the causes of our separation and see how the pain had caused me to miss the memories I could make with him. See, my father is now my best friend, my champion my counselor, my prayer warrior, my second teacher, because my mother was my first. Happy Father's Day to the dads who, who don't make excuses, but they make it work for their little ones. Happy Father's Day to the men who assist women to raise children who are not even theirs biologically. No shade to the women who do it at all. I, I salute you. Thank you for doing your best. 
But Father's Day was created to celebrate the men who are worth the praise for the work they put into their children. Help the mothers as best you can, brothers. Making children doesn't make you a father. Raising them do. So happy Father's Day to those who wear this robe every day.